Today we're going to talk about hash maps. Hash maps are the secret to exercise 18 in the solar system assignment. Okay. Okay. Hash maps are the secret. Okay. It's the best way to do it. Okay. We're not going to solve that problem. We're going to solve a different problem. Okay. But yep. it'll be a good problem either way. Let's say I have an array of scores. Actually, let's just do this in TypeScript. Okay. I'm just going to do TS Playground. Let's say I have an array of scores. Okay. By the way, a hash map is not a specific thing in JavaScript. It is a concept. It is a programming concept that's not just a JavaScript thing. But anyways, let's say I have an array of scores. Scores looks like this. Okay. And I have one, four, three, two, whoops, five, three, 110. Actually, let's do this. 100, 2, 4, yada, yada, yada. Now I want you to just make believe for a second. This could have 5 million scores in it. Obviously, I'm not going to draw out 5 million scores right now. Okay. My goal is to find the top five scores. And let's just say it's really hard to get a hundred. So this is like a 95, okay? This could have 5 million scores inside of it, okay? My goal is to find the top five scores. How might I do something like this? How would you solve this problem, Jeff? Just give me a rough explanation. It doesn't, you don't have to give me code. Would you sort it and pick the top few? Would you? Uh, and, and also, I want to make the constraint clear that this can be actually this may not be the a great problem to do this, but it, it'll it'll be fine. I think. Let's say this can be any number between one and one hundred. Okay. We'll say zero and a hundred. So how might how might how might you solve this? Well, I probably I would filter scores above a certain number depending on what um okay that number is. Attempt algorithm one. Filter out scores above a certain number depending on what that number is. So let's 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 go through this logically, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're doing that and for whatever reason what number do you pick? Which numbers do you pick to filter out and why? Like are you number. just going to choose like 80? You're just going to assume that there's a score in there? That's 80, and then you're going to filter out all numbers above 80, so that way there's a lot less you have to pick through. That that would work for this data set. Yeah, I guess. Okay. What if this is your data set? Now your top scores are 5, 4, and 4. There is nobody scored a 95. Your algorithm doesn't work anymore. Yep. So filter, we're going to say not a good idea. But worth a shot. What else can we do? Uh, reduce it. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Um, So we're going to get rid of that idea. Yep. All right. I'm going to give you a couple of yeah, options that are bad, also bad, but a lot of people try to do. 
One of them is you could do a dot sort. Okay. Dot sort. A dot sort will work. So in other words, I could take scores dot sort for A and B, poop out A minus B. And now if I console.log scores, I get this, and I just get the last five. I just chop off the last five of that. That totally works. Why is that a why is this a not great idea? Even though it will work. Any idea? No. In general, sorting is slow as fuck. <laughs> Why? Well, let's just go over like one sorting algorithm just to give an idea. But let's say I have one. Do it like this. I'll just make some random numbers and we'll sort them by hand just to give you an idea of like why it could take forever. Two, we'll go one, two, three. We'll scramble them. Four, five. Okay. Let's think about what sorts kind of look like in practice. If I do a dot sort here, a lot of them, this is like one example of a sort. Between five and two, which one's less? Two. Okay, do this. Between five and one, which one's less? One. One. Cool, do this. Between five and four, which one's less? Four. Four. Okay, do this. So you have to go through every between item. Five and th just, let's, let's keep panning right. it out. But between five and three, which one's less? Three. Okay. So what are, what are we at? Four iterations now? Yep. Four iterations the first pass. Okay, between two and one, which one's less? One. Yep. Boom. Between two and four, which one's less? Two. Two. Cool. Do nothing. Between four and three, which one's less? Three. Three. Between four and five, which one's less? Okay, so we're sorted now. Okay, so now we, we're we sorted. We know we're sorted. That took seven iterations to do that, okay? And I think you could imagine as you had more, it wouldn't just be like if I added one more, then it would go up to eight. It would go up significantly more than that. Sorting is expensive. It's known for being expensive. Alternatively, what we could have done was something a little bit more like this if we wanted to maybe not sort it, but let's say I want to figure out the top two scores, okay? If I wanted to figure out the top two scores, well, what I could do, and let's say I know that my scores are between one and five, okay? Here's what I could do. I could make a data structure that looks like this. Right now, the amount of ones I have is zero. The amount of twos I have is zero. The amount of threes I have is zero. The amount of fours I have is zero. The amount of fives I have is zero. I am just gonna build this data structure right from the jump. And now that I have this data structure, well, we're gonna loop through this array. So now I hit a two. How many twos are there now after that step? One. One. How, after this step, how many ones will there be? One. And actually, just to just to throw it for a loop, we're going to dump two fives in there. Okay. Yep. So now how many threes? Well, how many fours do we have after the next step? One. one. So we have one, 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 two. And then... Now we have one five, and then after the next step, we'll have two, two fives, and then we'll have one three. Okay. Now that I have this data structure, how can I find the top five scores? Well, I know that the highest number here is five, and I know there's two of them, and I know that the next number down is four, and there's one of them. And I know the next number down is three and there's one of them. And I know the next down, number down is two and there's one of them. After I get all those, I got my top five scores. So in other words, what I could do is something like this. For let I equals five. Let's call this my map. Okay. This is my map here. 
And what I'm going to say is, and this is, we're going to call it a hash map. So that way you're not confused with the dot map because they're totally different concepts. So I'm going to say, let's say let I equals five. I is uh, greater than zero. I minus minus. Okay. Because my, the only scores I could possibly have here are between one and five. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say something like this. We're going to call this top scores equals uh, zero, uh, an empty array. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we're starting from five and we're going down to one, right? I'm going to say the count equals hash map index at I. So what's the count going to be if I equals five? five nope what is my hash map this what is this indexed at five two right if i index this data structure at five if i go into javascript and i say hash map equals this we're going to say one is one i'll just do it in a single line two is one three is one, four is one, and five is two. If I do this and I say hash map indexed at five, I get two because oh. the count here is two. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sweet. So now all I would need to do is say something like this. Or let I equal zero or it'll call J equals zero j is less than count j plus plus now what i could do is say top scores dot push i and this will solve my problem let's check it i'm gonna go here we got my scores here boom top scores equals this i'm gonna make a fake hash map well, actually, let's we'll we'll build the hash map off this afterwards, right? But we'll build a little. We'll make a fake hash map right now. Hash map is going to equal, and we'll just pass it. There's something wrong with my keyboard because I keep getting dots in there, and I don't know where that's coming from. But let's go ahead and copy this. My hash map equals that right and now all i'm going to do is hash map indexed at i which this is a little mad at because in typescript it probably wants me to call this a record of numbers that point to numbers and it'll probably be happy and now if i do all this and i console.log my top scores you're going to see that it's going to go five, five, four, three, two, one. Now, the only problem here is I only want to get the first five. So I could do something like const how many scores to include. And here we'll say three or whatever. And what we'll do is we'll just say if we would need this in two spots, really. I guess I could really just put it here. If top scores dot length is equal to how many scores to include. We'll just do a break. And I'm missing something here. Count equals this. I is less than, J is less than, I fucked up something. I'm missing a curly brace there. Okay. And now if I did this right, now I get five, five, four. So that's my top three scores, right? Ask me some questions about this so far, because you're going to need to break down this code in order to understand what's going on. <sighs> no, way, no questions come to mind right now. I'm just going to have to go back and, and watch this again once it's posted. Here's a question. How many loops does it take to generate this? How many How many iterations do you think I could generate a hash map like this in? 
Would it be five? Nope. One loop. One iterate. One loop through the whole array. That's all that it takes. Let's build it. Let's do it with real scores now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this thing. And now what I'm going to do is I guess we'll just do numbers one through five. Okay. So now what I could do is let's make a hash map here. Don't worry about this part. Yep. Hang on. I'm just telling her I'm teaching. Teaching, teaching, teaching. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to set this equal to an empty object. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for let score of scores. I am going to say hash map indexed at that score equals my hash map indexed at that score. If it exists plus one, but if it doesn't exist, If this doesn't exist, we'll default it to zero. So in other words, if this is undefined, set it to zero. Otherwise, we add one. And now just to show you, with that simple for loop, now we have my hash map. Uh, something didn't work right. Oh, this is just supposed to be an equal sign. So now we generate this little hash map. We can log that or not log that. It doesn't matter. But then... Now what we could do is grab the top three scores. So now I'm running this. What, am, what else am I logging? I don't care about all these. We just want the top scores, right? So now I run this and I get the top three scores. Let's see if it adapts. If I add a five here, now it's five, five, four. Is this starting to make sense a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. So the idea is you build a data structure like this. Now, for that problem, what do you think the keys are going to be? What are you trying to count on each of them? How many it's times that score occurs? In this in this problem, but what about the asteroids problem? How many times the year occurs? Beautiful. Exactly. So you build out this thing that says 1992 occurred once. 1993 yep. occurred twice. 1994 occurred seven times. 1995 occurred once. Something like that. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So then when you have that, I think you could figure out the rest from there. Although yeah. there may be a tip that helps you a lot, which is you can use object.entries. Do you know what object.entries does? No. We're going to ignore the second half of this real quick. And my hash map looks like this. So let's just clear this, keep it clean. My hash map looks like this, right? Well, if I just wrap that with object.entries, now I get this array I could work with where the key is the key. So the, the zeroth element is the key and then the index one element is the value. So if we know that that's what object entries does, I should be able to find the max entry out of all these. And it's actually a lot easier than doing the top scores one, believe it or not. It's a little easier of a problem to solve. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. That should be enough information to get you moving.